Welcome to the XPRL Best Practice Board Knowledge Webinar on Improving Corporate Actions. What's wrong with corporate actions processing today? This complicated diagram helps you see how complex and how manual this process has become over time. What's at risk in the process? Interpretation errors, timing delays, accuracy. What's the cost of the system? It's significant. An entire industry has evolved to work around and manage these unnecessary risks. Join us today where we'll hear from DTCC, City, Globetax, BNY Mellon, and XPRL US as we walk you through today's process, a solution to the problems, and a pilot program that demonstrates how this can work. This is Patrick Barthel from DTCC. What is a corporate action? It's an event initiated by a public company that affects the securities that is issued. It could be a dividend, a stock buyback, a merger, or a spin-off. The Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, or DTCC, provides post-trade clearing and settlement services, as well as custody services, for 3.5 million securities eligible, valued at almost $37.2 trillion. These include corporate actions processing of distribution events like dividends, principal and interest payments, reorganizations, both voluntary and mandatory, and redemptions. DTC works with approximately 4,000 paying and transfer agents processing all elective instructions on optional income distributions, as well as voluntary reorg events and other similar activities. Much of this requires a good deal of manual intervention. In some cases, the entire process is manual. There are systemic and operational safeguards in place to mitigate errors, but the automation that XBRL offers allows for greater efficiency and greater risk reduction. This is Len Lipton from GlobeTax. This diagram shows today's process where the issuer communicates the corporate action through a press release or by alerting their transfer agent. This might work for mandatory corporate action events, but with voluntary events, because of the manual rekeying required before a message can get out, when one counterparty gets it, they must rekey it into their system, intermediaries and investors may not get the notice fast enough in order to take appropriate action. This is Campbell Pride from XPRO US. So how do you solve the problem? We want to switch from a document-based process to a data-based process. We want to make corporate actions messengers computer-readable because we know that this will make them better for end users, more functional, more timely, and ultimately more accurate. How can a data standard help this problem? XBRL is a technology standard used by every public company today for financial statement reporting. It's based on XML, which allows data to be tagged or identified. For example, the number seven by itself is meaningless, but by using XML, we can tell a computer that seven represents the number of buildings, as in the case shown here. Tags let the data creator communicate to the data user exactly what the data represents. Here's how XBRL works in a corporate actions message. This report is a dividend announcement for a company in the Netherlands. XBRL tagging can tell the consumer about the value of 98 cents. If you look at the blue boxes surrounding the value, you can see that the value of 98 represents dividends per share. It is reported in US dollars. It is specifically for the time period January 4th, 2014, and is reported with two decimal places of accuracy. The features of this data, such as the reporting entity, currency, time period, and name of the reported concept are embedded using XBRL. Here's an actual XBRL document. This section tells us the entity BNY Mellon is identified as the ADR depository distributing the message. The dimensions section tells us in the first line that the event is a cash dividend. The second line says it's an it's an equity. Third line tells us that the event is mandatory, and the next line tells us the event is for U.S. equity markets. 
the last line explain, explains that the action is confirmed. This section for period tells us when the event took place. A single, single data point can have all this information associated with it, from the issuer straight to the investor who needs to take action on it. Let's hear from Len Lipton at Globetax again on how we kicked off the pilot program. Now, we had a possible solution in XBRL, but we needed to prove it out and identify risks and costs. Getting a community of public companies to participate was unlikely at this stage, so we needed to find a consolidation point or a group of like-minded issuers to get involved in the pilot. The ADR depository model seemed a logical fit. Tom Crane from Citi will walk us through some of the specifics about the pilot. Thanks, Len. We launched the pilot program in 2011. As Len noted, the ADR dividend announcement process was chosen because corporate action announcements for ADRs are concentrated among a relatively small number of depository banks and players in the processing chain. The banks rely on significant hard copy transmittals and rekeying. Len will now elaborate on the consolidation points from Globe Tax's perspective. Thank you, Tom. We have the consolidation points illustrated here. Over 4,000 securities issuers from around the world are represented in depository receipt form. In the U.S., most are issued from one of four depository banks, including Citi and Bank of New York Mellon. So by only engaging with four issuers, we could cover a very large number of widely held securities, including many from multinational firms. Globe Tax provides withholding tax processing to the depository receipt banks, consuming thousands of ADR dividend announcements each year, and from them creating important notices that are delivered downstream to DTCC and others. These important notices provide detailed instructions on the voluntary portion of a corporate actions event. Important notices are based on common occurrences like dividends and have consistent requirements for participation. This makes them good candidates for standardization. Globe Tax has standardized the process of enhancing the dividend announcement and transforming it into an important notice, which DTCC publishes to its participants. Once the notice is distributed on, however, it, refers, it reverts to a manual process because the notices are published as PDFs, which then require reading and interpretation. This is Mike Silverance from VMY Mellon. Let's talk about the issues in moving ADR corporate actions from the issuer to the investor and how we sought to address them. The top section of the diagram shows the current state of the corporate action processing without XPRL. Multiple intermediaries get these get the data, interpret it, and rekey it before it goes to the investor. Below is the desired state where the issuer can communicate directly to the investor. Our goal is not to eliminate the parties involved, but to deliver the message more directly so that the data integrity is not lost. Originating data can then be enhanced by the depository banks and others, and the ADR investor should see that those enhancements and the delivery are transparent and efficient. Four issues are needed to manage uh, this process. First, the data coming at us from the local market. Second, enhancements to the data that we made. Third, data we were sending out the door. And fourth, the data consumption by the ADR participants and other enhancements. In 2006, we managed the first two issues over which we had some control. We built our DR corporate actions automation system, bridging the ordinary issuer in the local market with us as a depository bank. This allowed BMY Mellon to take in SWIFT messages and other documents, match, validate, enhance, process, and then distribute the data out into the ADR market. This was a multi-year project that made the data coming at us, um, excuse me, the data coming out of our system golden source. The current process, even with the significant changes we made within our new system, had many inconsistencies and pain points. 
we send announcements to New York Stock Exchange via an FTP process. We manually enter data into FINRA's website. And prior to late 2012, we were emailing PDFs to all the other ADR parties. What are some of the issues, bottlenecks, and costs? Well, first, different for file formats for different players. Each player, in turn, would then have to create additional file formats and FTP them further downstream. This is a technology build at every, for every entity involved and at every touch point. Second, the cost to maintain, update, and test every time there is a systems change is significant. Key punch data and key punching data that is already validated on your database into a website adds unnecessary costs, delays, and data integrity is lost to the key punch errors. Sending PDF announcements pushes the key punch costs downstream, and you lose the data integrity again to those data uh, key punch errors. The XPR pilot was an opportunity for us to accomplish the rest of our goals. With XBRL, our golden source data could move downstream to parties who could then consume that data, enhance it, and send it further downstream until it reached the ADR investor. This completed our desired state. Since October 2012, the depository receipts market has been receiving the BNY Mellon DR cash distribution announcements via XBRL, and we have been posting them to our website at www.adrbnymellon.com. Now we'll hear about the current process from DTC, from GlobeTax, and first from City. The attached flow chart shows that the dividend announcement starts as one of the ADR depositories. It could be either City, Bank of New York Mellon, JP Morgan, or Deutsche Bank. At City, we house dividend record and payable dates on our mainframe computer. We built a web-based tool which extracts the dividend dates and rates and creates PDF announcements. The dividend announcements are checked, and once approved, the system generates an email with an embedded PDF. The announcement is distributed to the marketplace and the securities clearinghouse. City enters the dividend terms on the New York Stock Exchange's eGov site and for OTC programs to FINRA's site. Upon receipt of the paper announcements, DTC Euroclear, Clearstream, and other end users must rekey the dividend terms, which adds cost, time, and risk to the process. At DTCC, on receipt of the email, operators manually rekey the information into the DTC system. It is then sent on to the DTC participant terminal system and reported in end-of-day files to clients. Risks in this process include the fact that key data could be overlooked, there can be keystroke errors, input delays, but the email itself could be misdirected. XBRL presents a lot of opportunity to, to, to improve what is now a fully manual process. If the dividend announcement has withholding tax implications, Globe Tax will create an important notice using that information. By rekeying the event into our system, and then enhancing it with the specific rules appropriate for that event. This manual process takes a little more than an hour for each actionable event. How does XBRL change the process? First, City creates the XBRL message and transmits it to DTC. We then post the dividend announcements in XBRL and PDF to City's depository receipt website. DTC can now consume the XBRL message in real time, creating an announcement. The XBRL taxonomy is aligned with ISO 20022, which enables a higher level of automation because DTC can convert the message to ISO 20022 for the real-time announcement to its clients. DTC has been able to prove that straight-through processing is possible when announcing an event to the market. Now Len will explain from GlobeTax's perspective. Thank you, Patrick and Tom. When the depository sends GlobeTax the XBRL dividend announcement, we cannot perform an automated qualitative validation. 
Our system automatically updates the record dates and pay dates and creates a new event. Once approved, the event moves into our security master file where we add the tax treatment information. With XBRL, what once took over an hour now takes us less than 10 minutes with a far lower risk of error. A dividend is a fairly straightforward mandatory corporate actions event, but it has a voluntary component to it in terms of tax treatment. Investors must determine if they are eligible for reduction or relief from taxation and consider their options. Globe Tax's involvement in the pilot means that the voluntary portion of the dividend announcement is now also automated. Straight through processing within the corporate actions chain has never been accomplished to this degree. Here's a quick timeline of the pilot program that was rolled out. Since October 2012, City Depository Receipts has been downloading XBRL dividend announcements via a secure FTP site for Globe Tax. In February 2013, we began transmitting XBRL messages to DTC. By the first quarter of 2014, FINRA will begin accepting cities' dividend announcements via XBRL. The XBRL technology eliminates the need for city to manually enter the dividend data into FINRA's website. Benefits realized are cost savings for city, and since the announcements are machine readable, straight through processing for FINRA. Len from Globe Tax will now give us his perspective. Thank you, Tom. The pilot proved that STP and corporate actions can work. All pilot participants have increased efficiency and reduced their risk, and significant volumes of messages have actually already been distributed. City and Bank of New York Mellon together have created over 9,300 dividend announcements in XBRL. Globe Tax has consumed over 1,850 announcements, and DTCC has processed 449 announcements. Given the positives from this program and all of the efficiency gains, these numbers will certainly continue to grow. Before the advent of XBRL, DTC received a PDF message from the depository bank and then manually entered information into its system. The risks were high for the possibility of manual input errors, and there could also be time delays as well as key data being overlooked. In addition, the email could even be misdirected. With XBRL, we now receive a real-time message that is immediately consumed into our system automatically and converted into ISO 20022 format and then in turn sent out to our clients. The benefits of this are clear. Greater straight-through processing end-to-end, -end, higher levels of standardization, cost savings, and most importantly, a foundation where XBRL can be used for other products. It's a big win in terms of risk reduction and efficiency. Where can you find these XBRL messages from the pilot program? City posts the ADR dividend announcements in XBRL and PDF to our website. Any interested consumer can convert the XBRL data and test it. Here's a sample dividend announcement in PDF format, which City converts into XBRL. The by Mellon also posts the XBRL message on our ADR website. Here's an example of the XBRL message and some of the pertinent data for that corporate action. So what have we accomplished? We've moved from documents to data, created computer-readable messages, and enabled straight-through processing. Learn more about the pilot and other corporate action initiatives by emailing us at corporateactions at xbrl.us or check out the corporate actions XBRL terms at xbrl.us slash corporateactions.com. Thank you. 